welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nina. I'm a life transformation coach and here at this channel we talk all about mental health, personal development, and understanding our own psychology. So if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and become one. We definitely want you to stay connected. And today I wanted to talk a little about external validation and why it's such a losing game. Why even when we receive this validation, it doesn't really make us any happier and it doesn't give us a genuine boost in our self-esteem. So we can think of external validation as really just seeking out the acceptance or approval from others, which is part of human nature and makes complete sense. The problem is, however, that in this day and age, especially because of social media, we've really become reliant on this acceptance. And in many cases, we let it really dictate how we feel about ourselves. I know it's kind of strange to think about because oftentimes we're not really fully aware of how much time and energy we are actually spending trying to seek out this validation. But if we stop to think about it, we can begin to see how much this need actually drives our behavior. And this really starts in childhood because when we're children, of course, we are completely reliant on other people and it is important that we do what they want or sometimes we're not gonna get our needs met. We learn very, very quickly what makes people approve of us and what does not. And what happens sadly is that this can carry on into adulthood. So we are really still seeking that approval. And if we're not careful or if we're not really aware that this is the case, other people can really start to define us and define how we live our life. We start to think that if people like us, we are a good person and if people don't like us, we're a bad person or we are a failure in some way. And of course, in life, people really have strong opinions, they have strong judgments, and they are very vocal about them, even when it's not appropriate to be in a lot of cases. And what tends to happen is that we will really absorb these judgments, we will notice them, and we will begin to use them as boundaries in our life. We're going to want to stay within the boundaries. We're going to know that if we do this, people don't like that, so we don't want to do that. Or if we do this, it really gets us more applause, so we're going to tend to do those things more and in the end it really starts to threaten our authenticity and of course nowhere is this more prevalent than in social media where our whole lives are on display it's going to make us feel incredibly vulnerable and we're going to be inclined to really start to craft our reality in a way that is going to gain that approval from other people. So for example, we're not just going to post a picture that we find on our camera or that we quickly took. We're going to take probably a hundred photos and really select the absolute best one or we're going to take a photo and we are going to spend 15 minutes trying to edit it, trying to make it look as perfect as possible. And then what happens subconsciously is that it it is a waiting game. We're going to stop and wait for the reaction. So of course it's easy to understand if there's a negative reaction why we would feel bad, but why is it not always positive when we have a favorable reaction, when people like what we post or like what we do in our life? The reason is firstly that we are most likely wanting approval or needing approval in areas that we are not actually confident in. When we have a wound, when we have low self-esteem in some area, when we feel vulnerable in some area, we are going to be looking to be validated from other people because we are not able to find that within ourselves. Now, social media can kind of mask this for a while, which makes it very appealing to a lot of people because we learn that if we post something funny or if we post an attractive photo of ourselves, we're going to get that quick boost of confidence that we are looking for. We're going to get that external validation in many cases. So maybe if we're not confident about how we look, we might post a picture of ourselves in a bikini that is perfectly posed, or if we don't feel that successful, maybe we post a photo of ourselves at the office, you know, looking like we are very important, but deep down, the problem is that even when people are really, again, giving us that approval, we do not believe it ourselves. We believe that we can create the illusion which does satisfy us on some level because as human beings, we do want to impress other people, unfortunately. 
but it never heals that core wound. Something external does not heal something internal. So if ultimately we're not really feeling good about ourselves, posting a picture that somebody else likes doesn't make us like ourselves more. It just makes us sadder in the end because we feel that if they knew the real life that we had or if they knew how we really looked or if they were with us on a day-to-day -day basis, we're really not gonna get that approval, which is why we are so careful about what we put out there. Now, in some cases, when we are getting applause for things that are truly authentic to us or truly part of who we are or a photo that genuinely represents what we look like, maybe that does make us feel a little bit better about ourselves. However, validation really needs to come from within. We can never rely on external validation. It may or not be there at any given time in our life, and it really can't dictate how we feel about ourselves, even though we truly are letting it in so many cases. Most of the time, seeking this external validation is doing nothing but encouraging people-pleasing tendencies, and we just become this master of illusion, and we become a little psychologist trying to figure out what everybody likes so we can deliver on those goods. And again, in the end, it is truly ourselves that suffer. So to be clear, the two reasons why external validation really is a losing game is number one, we aren't believing, again, what we are putting out there. We know it's an illusion or we believe it to be an illusion and we're not really going to buy into our own lie. And secondly, it's not giving us what we are looking for. It's not healing the wound that is in side of us. It's not healing that part of ourselves that doesn't feel successful or that doesn't feel attractive or whatever it is we are trying to prove to the world. When we have that sense of wanting to prove to everybody we are this or that, it just shows us that we don't believe that of ourselves. And that's where we really need to place our focus because we can change ourselves, we can gain confidence, we can improve in areas if that's what we want to do. Pretending that we're something ultimately, again, does not bring us happiness. Being something and living our own life, that's what brings us happiness. And whenever we are placing our self-worth into someone else's hand, we are the one that is missing out. We are missing out on our authenticity, of course, and we're missing out on growing as a person and becoming and exploring what we truly want out of life. It really doesn't matter what other people think because we are not living their life. We're living our life. So what can we do instead of looking to others, to seeking this external validation? Well, it really comes down to, firstly, learning to validate ourselves and realizing that we are enough without the approval or acceptance of other people, and also digging deep, really addressing the issues that need Need to be healed so that the approval of others can feel great when it comes, but we're not reliant on it. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make us like ourselves any more or less. It's really something that is very, very superficial, and that's something that we have to remember. We can't let something that is superficial be truly taking over our life, and if it is, we simply need to get to the root of the issue and start to heal these areas of our life that most need our time and attention. So while external validation is a completely losing game, Game and a complete waste of time and actually very destructive in our life, self-validation certainly is not. So that is an invaluable skill that we can really start to learn and practice in our own life so we can feel confident no matter what. So as always, I truly hope this video was interesting and helpful to you today. If it was, please like it and share it. Definitely take a moment to say hello in the comments and share any of your own insights. And I wanna thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope the rest of your day is absolutely extraordinary.